so in advance, uh, my mic sounds different to normal because I've had to disable all the processing on it for two reasons. A, because of the way I, I have the, the guitar set up, and B, I think my I think my compressor's broke. <laughs> I think it's broke. Because whenever I turn it on, I haven't changed any settings on it, but whenever it's on, I can demonstrate, if you'd like. Uh, brace yourselves. It's peaking. It sounds... It's not any louder, really, but it sounds like it's just... Cra it, it, I, I, it just sounds crackly and peaky. I don't know why it's doing it. Not a fucking Scooby, mate. No matter what settings I put on it, it does it. So I think it's just fucked. So maybe I need to get a replacement. Uh, I can't be fucking bothered, mate. Uh, it's fine. Anyway, hello. <laughs> oh, Ryan Butler's left me on saying Ryan Butler. Happy slap by a Brit. That sounds a bit like a problematic thing. Uh, as we said, six, six, three months. Thank you. Thank you for. I do hard. It's work is. Mm. Anyway. New gets 15 months. Thank you. And O Baker for 18 months, which is almost two sub babies, but it's not because that's not how conception works. It's 19 months because, again, there has to be a month between previous birth and the next conception. Kind of realistic. But anyway. Um. What's broken? Oh, I, th I think the hardware, I think my my DBX is, is physically fucked somehow. I think something's fucking broken it because I haven't changed any settings and it does. Listen, listen to this, right? Oh, oh, uh, it's, oh, there it is. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter what I have the settings to. It doesn't matter how low or high I have the gain. It fucking, it, it, it just sounds like it, it just sounds like it's peaking. It's great. Love that. doesn't do it when I bypass it. So have you tried not using physical signal processing? No, I like it, normally. Anyway, shut, shut up. It's fine. Shut up! I like physical stuff. I don't like relying on software. I hate software. Software's bad. Anyway, fuck it. It's fine for now. <laughs> it's fine for me. It's good. It's fine for this stream. Because this stream, right, I'm gonna... It's a weird stream, right? It isn't something I normally do. I'm trying to turn it off and on again. Obviously. <laughs> um, so, this isn't a... Like, I'm gonna put the thing... The desks... Wait, which one are we using? Desktop. So... Oh, here it is. So, <laughs> oh, it's me. Oh, look at my oh, good job. Um, all of that, it was fine. It literally, it's been fine. Something's broken because it does it with anything. It, it, it literally, it was. It, it, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Something went, and it's it went weird. I, I, it's been acting up a bit. Like the the actual hardware's been acting up. So I think something's fucked. fucked. Ah, I think something's fucked with it. No. No way. <laughs> no. Eh. Eh. Alright. Yeah. Uh as the audio interface. Oh yeah, it's it's there's n nothing's peaking is the thing. None of the none of, no levels are actually peaking. It's I'm, it's fine. I will figure it out later. It's probably later. Anyway. Um So So What I'm doing today, so one of my one of my things is that I keep wanting to learn songs, right? That don't have any tablature at all, right? Which is fine, right? Um, you stay away to heaven. I mean, actually, I need to plug the plug the guitar in first. It's gonna crackle. Sorry, just grinding issues. These things might solve at some point later, but it's gonna do that. Soz. Wait, how do I play stay away to heaven? Ah, I can't remember. I can't remember. Fuck it. Hey, look. Ah. Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, the song I'm trying to shut up. Sorry, it's got to. It's got to. It's got to do it. It's very annoying. It's just because of all the. That the reason is, it's just because of all the electronics. There's, there's just. I I think I need to get more insulated cables. I got very well insulated cables, but I think I need to get better insulated cables because. There's a lot of electronic interference around here, and boy, does it let me let me know. Ugh, fuck's sake. Um, is that an Epiphone Les Paul? No, it's a Gibson. It's a Gibson. This is a Gibson Les Paul. Oh, this is a Gibson Les Paul. This is a Gibson Les Paul Gothic Morte, which I bought. It was one of the first things. It was the most expensive thing I ever bought when I bought it, and I have modified it extensively. This is Matt's custom Gibson. <laughs> Um, it's got, oh, automatic tuners on. It's got, uh, 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 
I change all the electronics around. It's the pickup selector's here now. There's a global volume knob here. There's I put a fucking Bigsby on it. Oh, I've got all the hardware's new. Every bit of hardware is replaced actually. The electronics are original. It's got a weird active pickup, so it's got a battery compartment. Um, I like a Bigsby. I enjoy a Bigsby because you can do the fucking um. That is the one fucking song I know of that they used a Bigsby on. And it's fucking... Uh, a Les Paul with a Bigsby. And I like it. It adds a lot of sustain. I like this guitar a lot. This is my boy. I've, I've spent a lot of money on this boy. Excellent. Sick. It's softer. It's it's softer than a fucking fan elder tremolo. But anyway, like, the song I'm trying to learn... Get a Floyd I don't like Floyd Roses! I don't like them! I don't like him. I fucking. I've got a guitar with a Floyd Rose. I don't know well. Similar thing. Don't like him. I like myself. I look at it. Look how elegant it looks. Ooh, it looks wanky and it's black. And it. Ooh, I, I like it. Oh, it's my boy. It's my boy. And look, there's no, there's no, there's no um, inlays on the fretboard. This this fretboard is made of something called African epoche. African epoche. It was like, oh, if this is a new fretboard material, you have to use ebony. Oh, it's a bit soft. It's weird. Uh, there's no inlays. There's, I've got markings up here. But this is my boy. It's plain, matte black. Oh, very me. It's had a lot of wear and tear over the years. Um, but I think that gives it personality. Because this is my boy. This is my boy. I think it works. I like this guitar a lot. So, um... I've set up the audio to be at least mainly working. It should be balanced correctly. The guitar should be loud. Um, but, like, not overly loud. Uh... It's fine. Um, so, the song I'm trying to learn is it's a Gary Wright song called Let Me... Um, wait, it's not Let Me Feel You Love Me. It's called I Can Hear You Crying. I Can Feel You Crying, right? And um, I say this happens a lot. I've done it a few times. So this song, I'm going to play a little bit for it because I'm going to have to listen to it, right? It's fair. Uh, it's, this, this stream is going to get copyright fucking... The, the VOD's going to get thingy or whatever. Um, so, bow down... Oh no, I have no I'm new at the desktop audio, that'd help. Um yeah. Okay, so That's the intro. And we got a solo in the middle, which is uh Right, and then the last one, you like my skibbity bop bop, skibbity bop, that's my skibbity bop, and there's an outro. There's an outro, which... Now, I've been, throughout the day, I've just been kind of listening to this and playing it. Um, and I've, I've tapped this out to, 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 to... I've done the intro, I've done most half the solo. Because, like, um... Uh, I've got the intro, mostly, um, and then the solo, which is, uh... I haven't got to the end of the solo yet. 
And I'm tabbing it out for two reasons, right? Um, I'm tabbing out for two reasons. A, because if anyone, the, the like five people who want to play the song in the world, who search the song, will have it to play. And B, because I will fucking forget. I will fucking forget. I am 100% gonna fucking forget. Also, of course I can play through the fire and the flames on fucking X. I can play on X, but boy, please, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm really good at fucking Guitar Hero. I'm a Guitar Hero controller, unfortunately broken, but... And this is an ultimate guitar, because I like ultimate guitar. Um, that's what I'm writing on. I'm not doing pro tabs. I'm not doing it fancy. I'm not doing the timings right. I'm just getting it vaguely right. That's all, that's good enough for me. I've, I've only done a couple of tabs historically, which are these ones. I did two pilot ones. I did Mr. Do or Die, which is uh, like a much... Uh, how does it go? Wait. Wait. remember that but that's why I've tabbed it out so now I can look and be like oh that's the song I know it it's not very well done but it's far it's good enough right um. <laughs> Anyway, do I always play with thumb up? Look, here's the thing, right? with guitar. I'm learning piano formally at the moment. I'm going to a very good piano teacher and I'm learning everything properly from the ground up. Like I'm doing all the really basic stuff to get really properly good at it. Guitar, I have never done formal lessons and I've always just made it up. So I'm sure that you're gonna look at the way I play guitar and go, why are you doing it like that? Why are you doing it like that? That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. <laughs> I play guitar for fun, and I like learning it myself, and this is just how I play it, so. Um, oh yeah, Jesus Christ, I mean, admittedly, uh, there's someone called John English who I quite like. Um, what time I recently added? Whoop. Oh, you can see my iTunes. Oh. Uh, by the way. <laughs> my, uh, what's in here? I've got Jar. And I've got Hoggy Carmichael, Aretha Franklin, of course. Uh, I've got this, it's like a jazzy thing. I've got an East mode. I've got a Star Trek card thing. Laura Marling, guess who? Madonna's like a virgin album, which, top notch. Um, <laughs> Bill Chapman, mm, been really into Bill Chapman lately. Really into fucking Bill Chapman. The, I, I will listen to a song, I, 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 I like, I listen to loads of different music, and then I find a song and listen to it on repeat for fucking ever. Lately, the song I've been listening to on repeat is fucking uh, Careless by fucking Bill Chapman. Champlin. I mean, it's... It's not exactly rocky, but it's just... Uh, 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 in the shape that I'm in. Uh, 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 uh. It's, got, it's got no guitar, but I love it. Um, oh, Elvis, Elvis Presley's Christmas album. The thing is, I, 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 love, I love Elvis Presley's Blue Christmas. If there's one song I want off an album, I'll just have the whole album. Because, like, Blue Christmas is... Mwah. I can't do it. Um, yeah, I, I listen to one song over and over. And but if it's got a guitar part, be, because of how I, I, the way my memory, the, the reason I can do that stupid one seven three four six seven three two one four seven six three two seven eight nine seven 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 six four three nine seven three two six seven three one seven eight 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 seven three two four seven six seven eight nine seven six four three seven six Star Trek number thing is because of that stupid Pogo song, right? Which granted, Pogo is a fucking homophobic fucking asshole. Turns out. Um, it was like that Star Trek song, and one seven three four six. That entire number bit was done as like a good, like a solo. It was done as a melodic one seven three four six seven three two. And I, they just go right into my fucking head melodies. They just go right in there. So I will remember guitar solos like fucking that. But so I listen to a song over and over. I'm gonna fucking play that guitar solo, and I learn it. Um, and I like doing it by ear because I find that's fun, and it's 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 I think good practice. Um, 
And one of the problems I have is because I have a, I like to think I have a varied taste in music, um, which means a lot of the songs I like just aren't available. Like it's, I say, the two, the, the two tabs I've done are two pilot tabs, specifically pilot tabs from a um, uh, pilot, pilot. Oh my God, pilot. Specifically two songs from an album that I had to buy a CD of. <laughs> This was only available if you bought a four pack of all their albums. This was only released in fucking Japan. It's not on streaming services. So I bought this fucking album that was only released on fucking CD. Nowhere fucking else. Great. I mean, I could try to find a pack. Couldn't. Um, it's on YouTube. Some of it was on YouTube, but I wanted a high quality version. So I bought this. And fuck me, do I like Mr. Do or Die? It's fucking... So I tab this thing out because I listened to this thing to death. You're a holy liar. I'm a death defier. I mean, I've talked about this in the podcast, probably. It's a fucking good song. And it's... Mmm! Go! Oh! Mmm! That sounds good as shit! That sounds so fucking good! Oh, it sounds so fucking good! There's a reason, right? I have an external CD drive, because there's a lot... There's, a, there's the occasional album I need to... I have to buy on CD if I want to own it. Um, There's a few, right? Like, there's, um... Oh, God, there's a fucking Huey Lewis one that I had to buy on him. Um... The problem is, as well, these songs are not popular, and it's not like, oh, you can pirate them. No, a lot of these songs, I mean, I was like, oh, I'll look for a pirated version. It doesn't fucking exist, mate. Like, and I'm like, oh, that one, four score called in seven years ago by Huey Lewis in the news. Had to buy a fucking CD of this. It's just a load of, like, blues standards. And you've got fucking, like, Huey Lewis in the news version of some kind of wonderful. Which is like, oh, I mean, yeah, fuck it. You sing it, Huey. Ah, ha. Mmm, I do like it. Big fan of Huey Lewis, I'll be honest. Huge fan of Huey Lewis. Big fan. Mmm. Ah, that's not fucking. He's got a fucking tone of a voice, man. Flora, fucking voice. I got. It's a lot. It's not a great album, but like. Ah, oh, listen to that. Ah, oh, God, his fucking voice, man. Fucking Huey Lewis. Love that boy. Um, what's the album called? Four score, four chords, and seven years ago, I had to, I had to buy a CD off. I had to buy it off was it Discogs. I had to buy it like secondhand off like a, like a record. You can't even get. It. Um, there are some like albums and. Also, this is one of the reasons I like Apple Music still because I'm. They're like, oh, Apple One has all of the Apple services. No, it fucking doesn't. I have to pay for iTunes Match separately, which is like £21 a year still. iTunes Match means that if I put my CD into my, like, Mac or whatever, and I rip a CD, it just goes into the cloud, and it's integrated the same as Apple Music stuff. So, like, everything in here is all in the cloud, but it's all fucking, it's all just a mix of Apple Music stuff and fucking CDs I ripped fucking 20 years ago. <laughs> um, it's, that's why I like it. So I, I do that with a lot of songs, and I, I, I keep finding fucking songs, and I'm like, that's sick. What are the lyrics? There's no lyrics available. I'm like, oh, that's it. What's the tab? There's no fucking tab. And I'm like, great, <laughs> great. This is a song that like three fucking people like, and I'm apparently one of them. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what happens. I fucking, I really got into Little River Band, which is not exactly a niche band, Little River Band, in fairness, but um, like... Oh, no, yeah, no, Jesus Christ Superstar, because we've got, um, what's his name? John English. Oh, I on English, no. Oh, so, no, that's John English. Yeah, John English. Who, who was, who was, he was in Jesus Christ Superstar, this is his album. Um, which is very, uh, it's very fucking, you know. Dun. It, it reminds you a lot of Jesus Christ Superstar, because it makes sense it would. Sick. Excellent fucking song. Minutes to Midnight. Listen to Minutes, minutes, minutes to Midnight a fuck ton. Because right now, it's Minutes to Midnight. Dun. 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 It's got no, like, guitar solo bits in it or anything, but it's, it's a good song. Mm, mm, mm.
sick song. Um, <laughs> good album. That's a good album. But there's also, um... Yeah, there is... There is Superstar on it. Jesus Christ. Good album. John English. It's a good album. It's a good album. He's a good singer. John English. Good singer. Um... Uh... I've realized the music I like at this point is I like, uh, I like, uh, what's it called? Yacht rock. <laughs> and I like jazz fusion. <laughs> like, you know what? I fucking like Chicago. I really fucking like Chicago. Sue me. I fucking like him. Bill Champlin, he's Dizzy style, but Chicago songs. That's why he sounds Chicago y because he's in Chicago. <laughs> fucking sick, mate. Sick. Fucking this song. Oh. Bit of fucking big bandy fucking Ooh. This is my kind of music and you'd think right I've always whenever I right <laughs> I used to get this guitar serviced and I'd go in and it, this is a metal guitar and I look like I do I mean I, I've softened it over the years but I look like I do I'm like fucking the hemo fringe and I'm like walking in and like what do you like playing on it and then I'm like Oh it's not on <laughs> Oh, and I'm like, I'm playing fucking Dire Straits, you know. Um, <laughs> because my music taste does not match my, my image. Um, you know. We have a Hawaiian shirt that's black. I should get a black Hawaiian shirt. That's what I should do. Like, like fucking... I mean, this song... Mm. Mm. Oh! Sick! Mm. I like songs that add. Uh, see, they don't. They don't do the stat. They're a bit. They, they use jazz chords and like, oh, oh, oh where are they going? Oh, they shit. They threaten to a diminished chord or something. You know what? I've been learning about diminished chords in in my music lessons recently. Fuck me, I hate them. I'll be honest. Every other thing, I've 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 had. I've understood the logic like immediately. I've been like that. I'm like, I'm got them. Understand, right? Minor key, relative major, fucking raise seventh. Easy peasy, right? Not a trouble. Fucking, you know, going through the fucking circle of fifths, right? We're just fucking every other thing. We're just adding another fucking, uh, another sharp in, right? Easy fucking peasy, right? When you're going back down through the flat, you're adding a, you're adding a flat in, but it's like the flat of a next swap. I've come with it. It's easy. I find it. It's fine, right? D diminished. Oh, my fucking. Explain. He's, I've had it's two lessons. Where he's, like, my piano teacher's explained all the diminished chords. I'm just like, mm hmm, yeah, I understand. And he, he asked me, and he, he goes, okay, so what is a diminished chord? And I went, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> ah! I can I can hear them well, for the most part, but I'm learning. It's great. I'm on grade four. I'm on, I'm on theory grade four now. Wow, I'm learning Beethoven. Oh, delightful. Um, so the thing I'm learning today is yeah, I'm tabbing. Um, oh, pigs. Okay, just to just to reiterate something. Oh, ah, very big. Just to reiterate something. The reason I've got two pilot songs there is uh for a, a very stupid reason. It's because. I was listening to Mr. Do or Die, right? And I never turn the repeat. I, I never turn the repeat button on. I just never do. I always forget. I've used this. I've used fucking iTunes for fucking 15 years. And I always fucking forget it's a thing, right? So what would happen is you'll notice, is, is you'll notice the next song after Mr. Do or Die is Big Screen Kill. <laughs> so every time I'd finish Mr. Do or Die, I'd be playing this outro. Down and out. Like, I, I don't put them on loop, so right? You do it that way. Okay, but then immediately it goes to the next song, which should be it's big screen. It just goes straight into big screen kill. It didn't blend into one song, but it opens. And I ended up listening to it a lot. I only did the solo for Big Screen Kill, but um... Where is the solo? Where is the solo? Ah, there it is. Alright, yeah.
That's why I write down. I forgot it completely. Completely forgotten it. Completely. That's why I write down. Because I, I come, I knew, I knew for a fact I'd fucking come back to it later. And I go, I haven't remembered a bit. It's why I'm writing down, um, why I'm writing down this fucking Diary Wright song. Um, if the root and two minor thirds. Yeah, no, he explained that to me. I understood that there's two minor thirds in there. I understand that. There's two tritones in there. And I'm like, I understand there's two tritones in there. And he's like, oh, it's relative to this. I'm like, I understand. Like every individual bit, like he's explaining it. I'm like, I understand that individual bit on its own. And he's like, he puts them all together. And I, it just hasn't went in yet. It'll take time. That's a lot of things. A lot of what I've done and I've, I've been enjoying learning music very formally for the first time because I, I never have. I shall notice by the way I play this. I never learned guitar formally. I've never done guitar lessons. I've never watched guitar tutorials. I just played it and I figured out my own way, which I like for this. But with piano, I wanted to do it really formally. I wanted to learn formal music theory because I want to play fucking jazz. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm fucking playing jazz. I want to play jazz. Um, jazz piano. That's what I want to do. It's, it's a bit of a slog. I'm going very slowly and I'm making sure everything's fucking perfect before I'm moving on, right? And I'm doing all my fucking all the scales and blah, blah, blah. And sometimes some of the stuff I've learned, it takes a few weeks to go in. You know, it's like I learn and in one week it'll just click into place and I'll be like, oh, I get it now. So is the, is the issue with the miniature just, it just exists? It's it's just more complicated than the other ones. I mean, he said it's one of the most annoying things to teach, admittedly. He says, he says it is one of the more annoying things he finds to teach because um, it's, it's, not as, it's not as obvious as some of the ones, he says. Um, so, yes. Uh, a lot of these songs, by the way, fantastic fucking album. If you want to really go out, this fucking Gary White album, right? Heading Home, fucking top album, mate. Fucking wonderful fucking album, right? It's kind of... Oh. It's synthy. Oh. And they have some good guitar solos in them as well. I want to learn this one at some point. Sick. Um, <laughs> like, it's a good fucking, it's a good fucking album. It's a good fucking album. I think every song is good in this fucking album. This is one of these, uh, this is one of these fucking, um, oh my god, I keep dropping my, my, <laughs> I keep unplugging my, my guitar so it's like a, into the mic. I should just unplug it from the other side, not the uh, guitar side. Um, yeah, but the, the song I always come back to that I'm like, every time I listen to it, I just imagine myself playing it if I could feel you crying. Which... Bam, bam, 11, 11. I will say, right. This song seems to be slightly out of tune, like the guitar is slightly down-tuned. It's not a full step. It's like... It's like it... It's not even like it's it's not it's not half step. It's not just a half step down. It's like a it's like a quarter step. I don't know. It's slightly off. Some of it sounds a bit off, a little weeny bit off. So if I play it along with it, it's a wee wee bit off. You know. Right? That bit sounds great, right? That bit sounds great. By the way, if you're curious, I am using a Marshall Silver something. Silver Plex? Plexi Silver. Why that? I'm using a Marshall Plexi Silver fucking um, amp simulation using my Apal Twin. And how it's set up is I turned all the volume sliders on it. I put on every dial to 10. And I use a certain mic setup. That. I can't remember what it is. But, ooh! Um, could it have been the take speed? I don't know. I don't know, but either way, when I play along with it, like if I play directly along with it, it some of them some of it sounds a little off. Like I'm having to do some weird bends to make it sound right. Like Ah. Wait. Forgetting bits of it, but point is, it just sounds slightly. It sounds slightly out of phase. Slightly. Don't know. Weird. Um, I don't know what's going on exactly. It's doing something weird, but whatever it's doing, it's doing it. Um, so how far I got as I got to here, as you can see, um, I did half the solo. Now, if anyone has any suggestions for a better way to, for me to write these tabs, I welcome them. 
because I am just kind of vaguely, kind of just. It's, look, is it reasonable that I'm doing pro tabs? I'm just doing vague tabs. Like, you have to have heard the song and you have to look at that and go, okay, it's vaguely pointing me in the right direction. That's all it's here for. That's all I care about. It's just mainly for me and, like, the three other people. Because, like, these fucking tabs here, right? These fucking big screen kill them is the do or die tabs, right? This fucking big screen kill tab, right? This has 13 views. 13! No one fucking wants to play Mr. D fucking Big Screen Kill by Pilot. It's only got about fucking one fan in the world. Apparently it's me. And I'm assuming all 13 of those fucking came from me tweeting it. <laughs> no one gives a fuck. It's just for me, apparently. That's fine. I do this for me, anyway. Um, that's what I play. That's what I do. It's for me. It's for me. That's why I have this boy here. Also, you notice, by the way. Oh, it's a grounding issue, because when I... When I ground it... Oh, we can get a buzz. I mean, I could I, I could probably wear one of those um, ESD wristbands and ground myself to it if I had one lying about. But I'm not. I don't. So fuck it. Oh. Um, so, right. Solo. This is just me methodically going over it, by the way. So I, I don't know if that's of interest to you. But I thought it might make for an interesting stream. A different stream. So, Solo. <laughs> As far as I got. That's as far as I got, right? I haven't written all that down yet, but that's as far as I got, right? Some of you who might who might play the song might even look at the tab. Well, that's it. Like normally with tabs, I I usually try and learn it myself anyway because I think it's good practice to learn by ear. Because every musician I like is like, "How did you like guitar?" And they're like, oh, "I just listened to records I like and I figured it out." And that's exactly what happened. So fuck it, I'm just doing that. Um, but I'll, I'll sometimes like look to see if there's a tab. Just like, ah, point me in the right direction. Just to kind of get me started. Um, but my ear's gotten better over the years. Okay. Ah. So, you got a point. So... I don't know how to write some things. Like, uh, the, the, the fucking Mr. Do or Die solo is simple. It's a simple song. Um, you can see, like, the, the way it's written is, is fairly simple. It's just, um... I mean, the main bit is... and there's some weird notes. This is doing some fastery bits. Fastery bits, which I'm not sure how to tap properly. So there's like... The next bit that I, is after here is the... That's the, that's the bit that I haven't written down there. much as I've written. That's that 8 and 10 there. And that's the next bit. I can't remember how the rest of it goes, but it's vaguely something like that. 
Uh, there's, a, there's a character limit. I'm not sure the cleanest way to do these. Uh, ah, guitarists in the chat, the two of you, because uh, it's a small amount. I don't care. It's, uh, it's, what, it's, what are you looking for? I don't know. Help. <laughs> like, how much clarity? Because you know, I've got. All I'm doing, right, is I've got my little vibrato little symbols here, which are these little fucking wiggly boys. That's like, ooh, do a little vibrato. Oh, there's a bend. Oh, now there's like, there's like symbols down here for like, oh, you can, that's a pull off, that's a release, that's an accident. No, that's tapping, bend, bend, release, pre bend. But I'm not fucking using any of that because frankly, if you listen to the fucking song, you, you'll do it, right? Like, if, if you're not gonna go like, oh, that sounds wrong, you're gonna go. Bend the fucking note, mate. Uh, I love it. song I'm just gonna let it bit by bit and how I do it is I just literally because that is just him bending I guess. Um. Oh, this is the thing. Right. My problem with guitar is because I didn't learn it properly. I do loads of shit. But I shouldn't, right? My big thing, classic thing, classic thing, right? Is your C to your G, your G chord, right? That's a classic thing because um, you're not you're, you're supposed to really play the play. Because if you play your G chord like this using your pinky, you can transition your C really easy, right? You just move those fingers up and down. Problem is when I learned guitar originally and I looked at the chord. The chord sheet, I went, oh, G, like that, which is correct, but then you want to switch to C, you've got to move your entire hand. And really, if you're learning guitar, you should learn G like that. Because it, it, it prepares you for later. I didn't do that, and now it's a bad habit I can't shake. But I don't, admittedly, I don't fucking play chords. I'm BB King, mate. No fucking chords, mate. Only fucking tasty, tasty fucking. <laughs> Fuck about me. Only thing I care about is going. That's all I care. Fuck it. You know, finger picky shit. You know, I'm gonna do fucking finger picky, finger picky shit in an acoustic. Maybe this does not have the tone for that. Like you know. Fuck play Blackbird. Basic bitch fucking figure picking song, but it's nice. And anytime, right, anytime I wanna actually I don't know why I did that. 
Anytime I'm like, you know what? I I'm in the mood for some fucking chords, mate. I want to play a song just with Cody, 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 good time, right? If I ever want to do that, you know what I've got for that? It's called a fucking ukulele. And I fucking love the ukulele. Don't fucking let YouTubers fucking have tainted the ukulele. The ukulele is a good instrument, and this is a really nice ukulele. <laughs> If I want to just play something with chords, I'm going to go to the ukulele, because the ukulele is just fun to fiddle on. It's a fiddly boy. Ooh, it sounds delightful. And I just, I open chordify, I just play it along with the chords and that, and I have a nice... I have a lovely time, because... It's a fun instrument. Fuck. YouTubers ruin the ukulele. Admittedly, the one of the reasons the ukulele is quite... It's, it's in the same way British schools ruin the recorder. Recorder is a fine instrument. So is the ukulele. But because it's so easily accessible, it's played by fucking ch children. And they play it like shit. Fucking... Don't fucking... I mean, listen to it. Fuck, fucking the best ukulele song that exists is what I... a lot of their songs on a ukulele. George Harrison especially wrote a lot of his songs on a ukulele because you can just do the basic chord progression on a ukulele. It's really simple. It's so easy to just pick. I always have it on my desk here. So if I'm ever just like, oh, I have like a few seconds, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to be like, right? I'm always going to fucking do that. Always. Always. I mean, what's an E7 on a ukulele? Oh, okay. See, I can't actually remember chord names is my problem. An E7? No, that's not an E7. Wait. I can't remember. I'm going to be honest. That's C, that's F, that's A minor, that's something else, that's B. Fuck it. Don't know. That's D. times had by all. Um, maybe then build out the notes. That's a point. I actually know that now. That's the thing. I've been playing shit for years. Not a clue what I'm doing. Now I actually do. I know what an E7 is. An E7 is... Let me work it out. Let me get my music theory on. E, right? Key of E. Three fucking sharps, right? Oh, I'm remembering. Is it three sharps? Wait. Yes. No. Four. Four sharps. Yeah. 
A is three shops. E is four shops. E is four shops. Uh, I'm going to go one, two. We're going to go one, three, five, and seven. That's an E7, which is... I don't know. Admittedly, I don't know what... I don't know what notes these correspond to, admittedly. Fuck it. It's half there. <laughs> it's half there, but what we're really here for is... Oh, the boy. The, oh, fucking the plug, man. Fuck me. This cable's too long. Do you like my little plug? I like my little plug. Look, do you like my little plug? It's it's cool. It's 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 cool. Look, it's got it's got this little like little thing, and it's actually not the connection's not actually it's not connected until this little thing's pushed down. So it only comes on when you plug it in. So you don't get this sound. You know that classic sound of like someone plugging a guitar in. It sounds like that sound. You don't get that on this. Well, I'm I'm fiddling around. Just make a sound, and then, even when it goes in, no fucking sound until that button's pressed down. Sick, mate. Sick. Sick. Oh, Kirby Cooler, this is the thing I'm doing with the keys. My piano teacher, very specifically, I'm going very, very slowly. I've been doing it for like six months. I'm going quite slowly, but I'm going very slowly specifically that everything I'm doing is fucking tight as fucking possible before I move on. I started, I've started on minor keys. Like I've done all the white, you know, I've, I've done a couple of minor keys and I've done all the main sort of like, um, I've done all the main keys, like the white key keys. Uh, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. I've done those keys. I've done, I've got E minor, I've got A minor, and I've got D minor. I've done those three minor keys. And um, yeah. And my note reading's got a lot better. I've been learning Beethoven boy. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. I'm gonna get my theory book. Right. <laughs> right. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. Let me get some piano bags, or keep on piano things. Wow, box. Yeah. Um, I got a little fucking um. Right, this boy. I got this cool fucking. It's completely overexposed, but it's a cool boy. It gives me all my notes. Wow, there's there's my fifteenth of May note. That's about diminished chords. And admittedly, I understand that, but at the same time, it's half in. It's fine. Um. Oh, play the Let's Key Solution. Wow. Oh, when the sounds don't motion. Wow, I paid you. Point is, it's fine. Um, what I've been doing lately on the piano is I've been learning uh, Preludium in C. Wow. And I've been having a lot of fun with this because I'm analyzing every chord. This is my piano teacher's having a great time because he's a massive music nerd and he gets to do this. And it's really interesting because you see where you can tell where it changes keys. Because it's all technically in C, but really it's actually changing keys, like thematically. So you're changing keys, and then you're figuring out what, what chord it is, what chord number it is in that key, because it's still five to one, and it, like it's clearly moving into a key. It's going five one five one five one. It's moving into a key. So we're doing that, and I'm figuring out, and then that's a diminished chord, and that's like not a diminished chord. It's like oh, we're, it's, it's tension and resolution. I'm like oh, I'm having a good time. And right, what's cool is I played through all of this right by sight, because my note reading's gotten good enough. That I could I know where the things are. I'm gonna put my hand. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> It's been slow. It's been slow process. Like I've, I've, like I've got, I've got that boy, and I've got, I've got my, my five grades of music theory. Ooh, I've done grades one to three on the floor with you. I'm on grade four, which admittedly, grade four so far has been fucking dull, because it's like, hey, did you know there's more time signatures? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the exact same logic as all the other time signatures. I don't, okay. And then it's like, here's a fucking exercise. Right? How about you fuck? It gives you these bullshit exercises, which my piano teacher gets annoyed at. Cause he's like, "You're never gonna, never in your life are you gonna have to do that, right? Never in your life are you gonna have to fucking translate what was it? Fucking what was the fucking exercise that pissed him off? Um, it's a bullshit one. Uh, it's like nine four to three two. I'm like, what are you fucking? Get fucked up at a composer if he's like, oh, let it in 9, 4, 3, 2. 
Oh, double sharps and double flats. Like, it's just, oh, it's just a, a, a fucking semitone higher. I'm like, okay. Double dots. Like, it's just a lot of just, like, here's the thing you already know, but, it's like, a slight thing you did added. And I'm like, okay. So that's kind of boring me now. But I'm excited to get to grade six. I'm going to go into grade six and seven, which are the proper nerdy boys for the nerds. I'm excited. I mean, this is grade five. I'm excited for grade five. Ooh, chords that cancel dental points. Wow, songwriting. Right, and then I'm going to go on to jazz theory. Because jazz, 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 jazz. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for jazz, 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 jazz. Jazz. I've got myself a jazz pianist. Teacher. He's sick. I like him a lot. And he's going to teach me jazz. Jazz, 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 jazz. Ah, jazz. Jazz, 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 jazz. Jazz, jazz, jazz. He, he played at the uh, Eurovision fan, fan village. I watched him. He's doing jazzy, jazzy, jazz town. I'm like, oh, shit. That's my piano teacher. I'm paying him. Pay, 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 pay. Um, mm. Crunchy, I like his tone a lot. It's crunchy and it's tight. Um, because classical theory sometimes breaks for booze and jazz. And this is the thing, right? The reason I'm doing classical theory first is because jazz does break the rules, as does blues, as the fucking blues fucking key is. Like, it's a sound thing, I'm like, okay. So, the whole idea is, okay, we're gonna go to classical specifically, and then we go into the complicated stuff, because it's gonna fuck with things, and I'm like, I wanna get my... But the whole part of the point of me doing this is because I've been doing music for a long time, but I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, so I'm getting fucking everything really solid quite slowly. It's going really well. I'm actually really happy with how my music lessons are going. They're just slow. And I'm getting there. It's time. It takes time. But guitar's my fun bit. Guitar's my fun boy time. Oh, no. No. It's fun. I love, I play music for fun, right? People for fucking years, right? I do these streams, right? I admittedly, I get why people do it. And this isn't, isn't like a jab at people who do it because I understand it, right? And people are like, oh, you're doing it wrong. And I'm like, I don't give a f <laughs> I'm having fun. And that's the only reason I'm fucking doing it, mate. And half the, this entire Twitch is me either just sharing things I'm passionate about. That's all my Twitch is, right? It's me going and rant about politics. I'm really fucking passionate about politics. I think it's really fucking important. I'm gonna go and random and come like, mmm, I really like this music. This music is really good. Oh, right, that's my thing. Oh, I'm having a good time in this game. That's the, that's, that's the vibe, right? It's things I'm passionate about. And I like guitar. I like guitarists. And I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't care. Fuck, I'm having a nice time. It's not like I'm doing it professionally. I'm not being paid for it. Well, I am sort of now, technically, technically I'm sort of backward way. But the point is, I don't give a fuck if I'm doing it wrong. Like, I've, I, one of the. I had this one playing Kerbal, right? Whenever I play Kerbal Space Program, I very specifically in Kerbal, right, never looked up how to do anything, <laughs> right? Like, so I'm like playing Kerbal, I'll do it, and people are like, why aren't you doing this? I'm like, I don't fucking, it. people look up guides and shit, and I'm like, I don't know, I like figuring it out, mate. I like figuring it out. That's half the fun, you know? That's why I can only go to the fucking moon. Because I'm not a fucking astrof- I don't, I'm not, a, I don't fucking know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun figuring it out, and then when I do it, I'm like, yeah, I did it. And like this, like pinky thing, right? Completely valid, right? I think it's none of it really feels awkward to me. I pl I ended up doing I do it like this because it feels good for me, which works. Like, um, how does that go? Um, wait. Pinky as much as I used to. Like, I mean, I will for like. like I'm using 
use my pinky there, right? And like in the um uh, right, it's uh where have the solo gone? That's why I forget him, hop him. over the years because I do obviously I'm holding my thumb like that when really I should be having my thumb back here because I know how I'm supposed to do things that's the thing right I know how to do things properly I'm just not because I don't care enough right <laughs> really you should have your thumb back here you should have your thumb back here because you can do a better support on the thing right it get it doesn't less thumb cramp admittedly one of the things I did early on that a lot of musicians like, like, like doing things <laughs> is the thumb gets almost used as another finger which is a bit cheeky and a bit silly but like Kind of bullshit. Point it. Um, Yeah, it's like, the thing is, right, I've learned to play guitar from literally just watching blues guitar, so like, mainly B.B. King. The way I bend is B.B. King, right? It's the, the... Doing that vibrato there, every time I've done that, especially on stream, people will, people always, always comment, they're going, why are you doing it like that? That's a stupid way to do it. You don't need to do it like that, right? This is how B.B. King does it. So I, that's how I like to do it. And it sounds nice, and I find it comfortable. doing half the time shit but I don't care um <laughs> I don't care I think it's fun I play music for fun it's my hobby <laughs> it's my hobby and I like it a lot ah fuck it I don't care um <laughs> it's comfy I'm like I'm not like some stuff right there's some stuff I don't I can't do like um I've been trying to get better at like playing fast <laughs> I can't do it properly, and I should probably be playing. Like, I get very fatigued very quickly. And I can't do it properly. Like... Hi guys, what's up? Um, I do the full, yeah, I do the full wrist part, which is Blues Boy. That's what BB King does. My boy's a BB, my boy's BB King and Buddy Guy. All of Blue Fucking guitarists are like, you know, fucking. Fucking uh, Joe Bonamassa, because Joe Bonamassa does that, because he toured with BB King, you know, that all, all the guitarists I'd like do that. All the guitarists I've watched do that. I don't fucking listen to much of the music. That's, I don't watch of it. Point is, I like it. I don't care. And I like how it sounds. It's why I got a big speed as well, because it's a bigger boy. It's a bigger older boy, and I'm a big old boy. Playing a fully metal Les Paul in black. <laughs> Because it's my vibe. This is my vibe. This guitar is my vibe entirely. It's like, why is it jet black? Why is it? Why does it look like it's meant to play metal? What are you gonna play in it?
five hour, but you get the point. Um, like my my whole thing with guitar is I like to think I'm like reasonably competent because when I play something like the Gary Wright song. Goes... <laughs> reasonably competent the fact that I can do that I couldn't do that like many years ago or like <laughs> right like it's the thing I play okay Right? But like, I fumble a lot because I don't really know what I'm doing, because I've never done lessons, right? Like, you'll notice, like, when I play, I kind of, it's messy. You'll notice, like... <laughs> Admittedly, half of that's because I have yet to find an actual pick I like. I'm currently using this thing, which is like a, a purple... The Dunlop Torte. I have so many fucking picks. Um, I had, I bought a pack of picks from a company called Rombo, and I was really excited to try them. And I've lost them. <laughs> so I've had to buy another pack. I do have... A replica pick of Destiny, which was definitely not meant to be used as a pick because it's too big and thick. And you'll notice, like, I've shaved this bit off by actually using it as a pick because it's just fucking huge. Like, the reason I started using this is because it's actually a pick that's, like, closer inside to this. Because normal picks are, like, that big, right? The tiny little things. And I don't, they don't, they don't have enough grip, and I find it, like, rotating my finger. That's why these, these sort of, like, kind of textured ones I've been going with. But, like, this, this is fun. Because you, you do this with it. And it keeps it in place. But it's, um... it's, it's, it's really fucking thick. It's a thick, it's a big chunky boy. It's not thin at all. Um, and it kind of doesn't sound good because of it. And if I play it with this, that's there. I still use it for bass sometimes. Um, well, I may have it. I could use a. Uh... I've got loads. I got this weird thing. I bought loads. I like went to. I went to a music shop one day and I bought every fucking pick they had. So I've got like every time. I've got. Well, I got this. I got this cool one. It's a shark. Always like a shark fin. It's got these weird little tooths on, so you can kind of um, you can do this. It's got, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not fully sure what the teeth are for, if I'm honest. So you get that crunch that Brian May uses a sixpence, which I have somewhere. Um, because the sixpence has ridges on the side, you gotta kind of. If you're playing with this, whereas this, because it's like it's because it's it's rigged together, it sounds dirtier, you know. And it's also got this weird little like things you can kind of hold it like that. And it's like... It's fine. I don't I don't really like it though. I like a bigger pick. That's why I keep gravitating. I want two of these. I keep gravitating. I like a bigger pick that's textured, and I keep gravitating towards these sort of dull ones. But if you use this one to fucking death. Um, or these, these are smaller, these, these little green ones, but I, I, I don't mind these, these, these sort of thick, they're thick, they're rigid, thick, textured Dunlops. Oh no, the Kirby Cullet, that's the sound. This is not your stream quality, there's just a underneath everything. Actually, admittedly, I should turn the, um, chat audio off, but like, and there's a hiss now. Right, it's the guitar, sorry. Can't help it. Right, 
By the way, this is why I fucking love the Apollo Twin because I have never been able to get. I, I, I have never been able to get an amp sound like that out of software before ever. I've used so much fucking guitar amp software and I've never been able to get a tone that sounds that fucking good. Because that's that's so good and there's no fucking pedals. That's just the amp. I'm a sucker for anything with Brian May written on it. Like, genuinely a sucker. Um, I got this. <laughs> it's a little Brian May amp. Fox make it. He's cute. Um, and it's like two things in one, which admittedly, I think they slightly missold it. Because they're like, look, it's a stack. And I'm like, oh, it's a stack. Normally in the product pictures, they don't have this fucking wire on it. It's like, oh, it's a nice stack. You have to put this fucking wire in it for it to work. Because effectively, all this is... This bit is actually the um, kind of amp. This is what gives you the sound. So this has a battery in it. And the idea is, the Fox make these. The idea is you can plug these into a guitar on the road like that. And then you just put a pair of headphones in and it works. It's just a headphone amp, right? And you can just listen to that through headphones. And it'll give you a Brian May sound. And I'm like, oh, great. Um, and then they release these, which is like a little speaker to go with it. But then you, you, you kind of have to, you put it in like that. So it looks like a thing. But then it's like, oh, the output of this still needs to go. So you, they, give, they give this little fucking shitty cable, which you put from the headphone out jack of the amp into the fucking aux in on the fucking... <laughs> and then you have to turn both that on and then this on separately. Well, <laughs> it's very clumsy, I will say. I mean, it. it's very clumsy. It does sound like Brian. Um... I mean, the nice thing about being a headphone up is actually I could plug it directly in and just sample it directly. But... <laughs> ah, you get the point. It's nice. It sounds like Brian. Um... It makes more sense to play it as a headphone thing, which I probably will do. I haven't actually played the headphone bit on its own yet, which I should. But again, uh, I honestly mainly bought it because it's got Brian May written on it because I am a sucker for things with Brian May written on them because he's my boy. He's my boy. When I was growing up, I'm like, Brian May is my idol. He's my boy because he's an engineer. He built his own fucking guitar from scratch out of an old fucking fireplace and bits of motorcycles. He wired his pickups himself. I'm like, that's cool as shit, man. What was he doing in university? Fucking astrophysics. Then he became a rock star, but he's really awkward. And then he's like, mm, I like animal rights a lot. I'm going to just complain about animal rights all the time. And I'm going to talk about science. And then he finished Queen. He's like, mm, I'm going to go back and get my PhD because I want to be a doctor of, of, of astrophysics. And I'm like, sick. So he goes back and gets his fucking astrophysics degree. And then he just does the sky at night because he really likes the sky at night. And he likes space a lot because he's a nerd. And then he's like, mm, I'm going to do the Olympics, but I'm going to wear a thing against badger calling because it'll really fuck off the government because he's a big animal rights guy. And he's lovely, and every I've had conversations with people who've met him, and every single person is like, he's the most lovely man in the world. He's so lovely. I love Brian May. He's my boy. I love him. He's a good idol. You know, let me your idols, they say. But Brian May, that's one exception. He's a good boy. Good boy, Brian. Brian boy. Good boy. My Brian May. I've got the only pop vinyl I owned before I bought a horrible fucking um, Riddler one was a Brian May pop vinyl. Because it's Brian May! Do I pick... Do I point the guitar pick in line with your fingers or perpendicular to your pointer? Uh... <laughs> I hold it like that. Uh, 
Like that. Oh, fuck it. Fuck that. I don't know. Something I tried to learn years and years ago is the finger finger pick technique, which is like Richard Thompson does it and stuff. That's the idea. You can use like a loose finger to the top notes. Which is a bit, it's awkward, but you can. I used a thumb pick for a while. Like one, it's a metal thing you put. Thing, I mean, I have all these eye picks it like picks as well. It's a technical. But you could use the pick, but they're a bit thin. Um, I've got loads of picks. So many picks. <laughs> um, so many different kinds of picks. They're just all in my drawer, and I don't know what to do with them. Um, oh, you can see this is the this is the workshop desk, by the way. You can see the thing here. So it's like I've moved the camera over. This is why I put this is why I put his camera on a big mount. I can I can put it just it, this is the close up cam for the desk. I can just move it out. Sweet. <laughs> She falls out of tune a lot with the Bigsby. That's the problem. That's the one problem with the Bigsby. But I did, when I got the Bigsby, I also got this boy. She auto tunes for me. Wait. Yeah, well, okay. uh, it's my boy. What metal album is well like? <laughs> None. <laughs> uh, I don't like metal. <laughs> You know how you get those people who are like, I like all music of a country. Ask me with metal. <laughs> I mean, that's, I, I like some classic metal. I mean, sab I like some Black Sabbath stuff. I like the like, Dio Sabbath stuff. That's metal. You know, I like some Sabbath. I like fairies wear boots. Some Sabbath stuff, but I don't really like metal. As I say, the music I like, which again it goes off brand, is my boy. Look at look at him. He's on a boat. He's got no shirt on. That's the kind of music I like. Um, <laughs> what have I got recently? Oh, what's this one? Whirlwind by Andrew Gold. Ooh, I like this song earlier today. I mean, that's kind of rocky. Sick. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just do what I'm coming with. Like, I'm not, I'm not really ever trying to be better. I just like try and play the songs. I like. Oh, I like the Doobie Brothers. Because of love, keep on boy. Because of uh, it's Doobie Brothers. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, oh. Do you know? I like myself with some Madonna. You can't fucking be eighties Madonna. Excellent. Excellent. 80s Madonna, 10 out of 10. No fucking notes, mate. You know? Also, all the good songs. Fucking Beyonce's Love on Top. That is... Mwah. Repeated fucking key changes. She's going off, and it's just... Mm, it's a good song. It's well composed. I like that song. It's a good song. I like... What's his face? Um, Mr. Bruno Mars. He, he does some good stuff. His funk stuff's really good. He has, he has like, Silk Sonic, which is all, like, funky. I like that. Um, I like Little River Band a lot, which... <laughs> fucking iTunes keeps breaking, like... Apple Music like, breaks the fucking albums all the fucking time. I like Little River Band a lot. I got really into, but a specific era because there was a specific era where they had a specific, they had a specific like singer. Uh, what's the, what's the album I really like? Uh, First Under the Wire. Mm. Which, if you were at the start of the stream, this is the song that was playing at the start of the stream in the background. Except it the way that she lives. But would I ever start again? I can't sing. Um, <laughs> but it's like... <laughs> oh, Ellie in the Sunshine. Oh. Good song. Good it's a good time. Getting to into all that I have seen do do. I need to learn some of this, but it's a lot of sax stuff. We make it. 
Admittedly. Humming is on my end. I'm sorry. I cannot fix the humming. There is a hum. I'm sorry. If I unplug the guitar, there is no hum anymore. Well, the hiss. It is interference from something. I, I I'm gonna try and fix it in future. Uh, it's just got a lot of electronics. I'm assuming I just need to get a really, really well insulated cable. I'm assuming I just need to get a thicker fucking wire. And yeah, the guitar feels like it should be. But even if the guitar is grounded, it, it's still got a, like, it's less, it's not as bad when the guitar is grounded, but like, um, like, so, hear that, not grounded, guitar's not grounded, ground the guitar, it gets better, but it's still, that's still the background. You get that electrical noise in the background, you can hear that, that's electrical interference. That's a grounding issue. That other noise. No, ground's fixed, other noise. Point is, you play loud enough. And you can't hear it. It's fine, fuck it. Anyway. Um Yeah, I'm sorry. Admittedly, right. So you see how the electronics are in a different place on this, right? So by default, on the last ball, obviously, there's there's four pots here. Uh, two are for volume, two are for tone, and that's per pickup, right? So you have each one has a volume knob, and each one has a tone knob, and then your pickup selector, like this, switches up here normally. I don't like that. Right? I'm used to the Brian May guitar. The Brian May guitar has a master volume, which is great because you can just roll it off and roll on. Which is super fucking nice. Admittedly, the master volume Brian has is down here, but the Bixby's in the way. So I was like, you know what? I don't need fucking two tone knobs. What do I need two fucking tone knobs for? I don't I don't fucking use one. But I want independent volume control. So these are two independent volume. But I I paid a guy to do it. And and ever since he, he did it, it's it's had more it's had a lot of grounding problems. And the reason it has more grounding problems is because it's it's got active pickups, so it has even more grounding problems than it normal like a normal guitar would have, because it's fucking powered. <laughs> like you can hear me like the, me moving the battery is causing a little fuzz that's my one problem with this guitar it's got active pickups which are nice in some ways because it makes it makes a crystal clear signal which is good for effects <laughs> But equally, it's a pain because this guitar has to have fucking two batteries because the fucking, um, the, 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 the fucking auto tune also has a pit fucking battery. I, I need to get it looked at again, I feel, by like an actual, like, I might have it on myself, honestly. Give it a pop. Probably that off. Is it? Ah, it's from, most things are probably later. <laughs> Calm down! You're okay! Shh. Shh. She's a temperamental old god, bless her. Um, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't have any illusions that my setup's a bit messy and I don't care. Okay. It only becomes a problem during these. Like, for me, I don't care, but I... Um, right, so I'm still doing I Can Feel You Crying. So... Down, down, but... <laughs>
say something wrong, tell me what the top two. Is. and then a bending. This is like a pull off. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just gonna awkwardly write this. Ah, mm, uh. <laughs> mm. Mm. That doesn't feel right. If I saw that written out, I wouldn't know what it fucking was saying. P H H ten B. Actually, I'm not actually picking on the 8, I'm kind of hammering on and then picking on the 10. I'm not actually strumming on the 8. Is that an accident now? No, I'm just gonna... Um, yeah. A ghost note? Yeah, was that a ghost note? I don't know. <laughs> Pre bend release. Accented note. Ghost note. Maybe it's a ghost note. Maybe it's a ghost note. It feels like a ghost note because I'm not actually strumming it. I'm just. It feels like that would be the logical. I don't know how to actually symbolize that. I mean, I just put them next to each other, I suppose.
tap very often, as you can tell. You know what? It might be wrong, but I find it easy to play this way, so fuck it. Anyway. <laughs> do, do. A pre-bend. I mean, how do I... Then release. Mm. Your ten. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And it kind of goes down to the A, goes down to an A. Oh, stop it. It does lot sometimes. Right. Pretty good. Noi! Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you mind? We're trying to be polite here. What are we doing? We have guests. We have guests. What have I told you? What have I told you about embarrassing me in front of guests? It's not on. It's not fucking on, mate. It's not on. We've had this chat before. You know, fucking every fucking time. You know, I've got guests. You know, every fucking time. And I'm like, oh, no, you're fine. Then you have fucking guests come over and you're just going to embarrass me. It's the, it's the fucking, genuinely, it's the fucking tightest goddamn battery cover in the world as well. So it's a fucking arsehole to get off. Come on. Ah! There we go. I did, I did get a quote to change the electronics in this to like standard Les Paul electronics, but because it's not just, it's not just taking the electronics, you have to replace everything. Every bit of electronics in this you would have to replace. And if I wanted to replace it with official Gibson parts, which I would because it's a fucking Gibson Les Paul, I'd want to replace it with official Gibson parts. It'd be like... Six hundred pounds or something ridiculous. Come on, little man. Gonna be a good boy. Gonna be a good boy. Reseat your jet. Put you back in. Right. How you sound it? By the way, you can tell it's electrical interference because I can move away. <laughs> That's the noise of the camera's electronics. <laughs> That's another problem with active pickups. They're a lot more fucking sensitive. They're a lot more fucking sensitive. So much more fucking sensitive. So like, me, me. Oh. Well, that's a fun noise. I've got a fan on as well, and it's the fan's blowing over it. Oh. Oh, that's eerie. Oh, I kind of like that. Wait. Oh, that's an eerie noise. Sammy Wacky, I'm playing, or I'm tabbing. Gary writes, I can feel you crying. And this is a Gibson Les Paul. A Les Paul Gotham Morte. It's the first generation Les Paul Gotham Morte. I sold back in like 2009, and that I have heavily modified. So it is Matt's custom guitar, it is mine. No one else has this guitar. This is my guitar. <laughs> With active pickups, which I hate. Um, right. Uh, definitely not a metal person. Hundred fucking percent, not a metal person. Oh, I got a. You'll know. You'll. 
you can guess I bought this guitar for the aesthetics, and I genuinely, absolutely bought this guitar for the aesthetics. When I got it, I'm like, mm, I don't like the active pickups, but it looks like this. So of course I'm gonna fucking buy it because it looks like this. It is just a matte black playing guitar. That's my like, entire thing. It's minimalist. I like it. It's my boy. It's my boy. Admittedly, all the hardware it came with originally was like got kind of a black nickel, so it's like this kind of grey. It'd, it'd be called space grey now if it was released today. But it was all this black nickel, but I replaced it with black hardware. Mm. Black bridge. Black, blah, 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 blah. black tuning heads. Ooh, delightful. And I painted this black, which is why it's got this. Right, it's fine. Um... <laughs> Ten eight eleven ten. This it's gonna make it good enough. Um, right, so it's You know what? <laughs> hang on. Oh. Hang, on a, hang on a moment. I'll be there. I'll probably fall over. It's fine. It's been in worse situations. Right. So. So, 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 so. First of all. First of all, right? My boy, my red special, my boy, missing. Where's the fucking? I had a six pin somewhere. My, my boy, my, my boy, my boy, my boy, Brian, my boy, Brian, my, my boy, right. I modded this to have a more accurate um, because this this has like a Floyd Rose style through like on Brian O'Neill's actual guitar. There's no plastic on the back. It's like a Bixby style one that he made out of a bicycle. Uh, but for a mass-produced one, it was easy to just go with a Floyd Rose style. So if you buy like a more expensive replica of a Red Special, it has the more traditional tremolo. But this has like a standard tremolo, which I don't like. But you can, I, someone on Etsy sold these um, replica uh, tone arms, yeah, so you could retrofit it so it looked a bit more right, which is what I've done. Um, and you could also buy these pots from Brian Ways Direct because by default they were like shiny and a bit different. But I bought these ones and that's what's also on the Les Paul. I've got one of these that I painted black. It's the master volume of the Les Paul. But this, this, right. You can get these on Brian May Guitars' website. These are about £400 guitars, right? Ish. I think when I got them, they were £40. Les Paul, when I bought it, was new in 2009. £1,000. It was the most expensive thing I ever bought, right? Still one of the most expensive things I own, especially because of the mods I put on. I probably spent another grand on it. So that's, this is my boy. This guitar I'm about to show you now is not my guitar, and it scares me. Uh, it's my dad's guitar. This is a Les Paul Custom ES-335. 
This guitar is a 3,000 fucking pound guitar. This fucker scares me. I never fucking play this. I don't know why I've got it. I keep trying to give it him back. It scares me. I don't like it in my house. It scares me. It's like handmade in fucking Nashville. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful guitar. It's got a problem with its... its um. It's got a problem with its its thing. It's jack. I mean, I don't know if you'll hear. I mean, it it, the it needs servicing. I need to replace the strings in it. But if I if I plug it in, um, don't worry about that much. Getting excited. It's a guitar. They are built to be moved. That is the thing. A lot of people are very precious with the guitars and stuff. Like you've got to be semi precious, but like. <laughs> It's all right at the moment. It's very out of tune. Very out of tune. There is still the crackle. That's the electrical interference noise, but... Sounds different. You, you feel that it's got... Because this is a big resonance chamber, this is a hollow body guitar. See with the violin, these are, all of these are hollow on the side. This Les Paul, it's called a chambered... It's chambered, it's not solid. A, Liz, a, a, a Gibson... Um, a Gibson SG stands for solid guitar, right? And that means it's just one single piece of wood. This guitar, I, I don't know if it's true of all Les Pauls, but this one specifically, it's just chambered. So it's solid and it's got like chambers carved inside it, whereas this is a hollow body guitar, um, which means it's basically got a... Okay. Uh, the body here is solid. Like there's like a solid core here, but then these wings are just, they're hollow. They're hollow inside. Which means, yeah, it's this a BB King. This, this, is, this is the exact guitar. Well, this is the style of BB King player. And it gets you a lot of sustain. Ooh. But like, if I try to play this on it, I mean like... Let's, let's try it. It's actually not as out of tune as I thought it would be. Um, let's try. It does sound, it's, it's a beautiful sounding guitar. But you hear that? It's very warm sounding, I've got it. I mean, and that's, that's in the fucking, that's the bridge pickup as well, if I put it in the neck. Guitar. And yet, chambering's new with Les Paul, and older Les Paul, 59 Les Paul, is gonna be a heavy cut. 
This isn't that heavy, actually. I've held heavy Les Paul. This is not a heavy Les Paul. I like this guitar because it's like, you know, it's got heft to it, but it's not too bad. This guitar is light. Like, the, this guitar is bigger, but it's lighter. I always wanted, um, they sold, Gibson sold 339s. Ah. Gibson so sold 339s that were, like, all black, and they were matte black. They had, like, a white accent on them. Like, you see where this, like, stripe is, this accent stripe. That was white, but the rest was matte black. And a 339 is exactly the same as this. It's, the only difference between a 339 and a 335 is the 339 is just physically smaller, because this is fucking huge, right? Like, like, if I take this guitar and I put it in front of it, like, you can just say, it's just, it's huge. Like, you, like it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> um, and it's somewhat cumbersome because it's so fucking big. So a 339 is just, basically, it's the, the body's more to scale with the other guitar I've got there. Um, bye, Sammy Wacky. But this is a, okay, admittedly, it had a problem with its, it, it has a problem with its jack. Like, sometimes it goes really crackly, but it seems to be all right. <laughs> Sounds fucking beautiful, don't she? Oh, she sounds good. the neck pick on it, right? Bridge pick up. Then if I switch back to the Les Paul, and I do, to be clear, very much like this Les Paul, but its sound profile is very distinct, right? It's got a very distinct sound profile because of the active pickups, right? It's very crunchy and it's very crystal clear. It doesn't have any warmth to it, right? So neck pick up. It's a good sounding guitar, very good sounding guitar, yeah. but it's, you know. on this one, that was the neck, the bridge is just... fucking tone because it's fucking it's clear but it's fucking dirty you know it has a refinement to it because it's crystal clear but it's it's just it's crunchy you know
fucking Rory Gallagher on this podcast. <laughs> You get the point. It's it's gritty. Thank you for Lesh Ninja. Gritty, but then, right? Go back to the fucking ES. The old dignified girl. The very old dignified girl. Now, to be clear, Martin McFly did not play an ES-335. He played a very similar guitar to a 335. I think it was a 327. It had a big speed. Very similar to a 35, but it wasn't exactly a 35. You know, if I try and do the exact same thing. I mean the exact same pickup selector. With the exact, I've got everything maxed out, exact same pickup, right? It's the bridge, exactly like the other one. If I It's got a similar tone, but it's what this is why you have a little bit different guitars. And if I admittedly, I like how this sounds in the with, in the bridge pickup with this uh, Gary Moore sound. Actually, just like these strings are so old. they're really rusted. These strings are so fucking rusted. I don't know if you can see that. See the lack of like if I hold this up, you, can. you see, you see when I turn it and it, the, the strings hit the light, there's a shininess to them. Um, you can see it there. Look, see, see that shine like running down the strings. You can see the light, the white lights that are running down the strings. Uh, if I do it with this one. It's like it's got all these like weird dull patches and it looks really spotty. It's rusted. It's just, I can feel the rust. Ooh, the rust. Um. So. Hey. It goes down to 11, and it goes up to up to 13 again. Right.
If I need to re-space them, I just want to get the notes in the right order for the first before I do anything else. Um, Gary, Gary Rat's really fucking good. I say a lot of the artists I like, I tend to like my like first album and then everything else. Only like, oh. let's try that from the top just to double check. That's how I do this. so good. Wait, 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 how's that fit going? Also, I'm starting off as you notice, so it's why I'm slightly uncomfortable and moving around a lot. Yeah. Because this isn't, I don't have, I have fun. I don't know what I'm playing, I should put the fuck in. I'm enjoying playing it, I haven't played that for a while. You need to replace the fucking strings. I've got a pile of strings behind the microphone. <laughs> Literal pile of things. I've got some really big fucking um, flat wound fucking bass strings there as well that I'm excited to fucking eventually put on my bass. Uh, I hate this fucking strap because on the S, the strap the buttons on the back. It's on the back there. It's really annoying. So you kind of get this weird fucking angle. <laughs> Mm, 
tablet chair. Um, it's a weird thing with tablets. Because I was talking to my piano teacher about it, and if you read if you read sheet music, and sheet music is as objective, right? Like the sheet music is like you are playing this exact like frequency of note, but on a guitar you can play the same note in several different places, but it gives you a different tonality, and you've kind of got to figure out what you want. Because obviously you can play on the bottom string, or you can play on the next string, or you can play. It's the same note, but it sounds slightly different. And you've got to just pick and choose, because you can play... Well, maybe not that. Like... It's telling that I've played guitar for long enough that I could go... Yeah. They all sound different, and that's what half of this is. Because you know, like, I don't even know, but it's where you play it. Bum, 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 brim, bum, brim. Bum, 
Bum, bum, bum, bum. I'll have to shorten that up, put it onto a different line, probably. I'd like to be able to fit it all in those two lines if possible. <laughs> No, 11, and then we'll go to 13, and that should be that line. Done. I have to. Ah, oh, why have you two fucking lines? <laughs> I just need to shorten it because that red line is where I, the, the tab has to put. So, eh. that's right though. You know, I'm just gonna press all these bits together. Uh, I can't press it together that much. Ah, ah. Oh, no, you bitch! That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Fuck it. Right on the edge. I'd rather not have like one note in the line, I think that's messy. I mean, I could make this three lines, I could easily make it three lines, but this is like one section and then it goes to this section, so I quite like it. I mean, it's, line. it's cleaner. Even if it's a bit smudged up. But tabs don't worry about timing as much, at least these simple tabs. Uh, tab pros or fucking like. Live tabs, or whatever the fuck they're called. They need timing. They need to be quite accurate in timing. This is why I'm not fucking doing that. I'm doing these basic tabs because this is a guide. This is a guide. You can play. You know how to play it. You've listened to it. Oh, there's ninja. Oh shit, thousand. Thank you. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. I'm sorry. Um, it's just electrical noise. It's electrical interference. It's because of all the electron. I, I have to basically change a lot of shit at some point. Um. Like there's a hiss at the moment, but I'm not plugged. I'm not plugged in. But then I plug it in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorted, this equal time for some reason. Now the outro. That's why I keep on plugging it when I'm doing stuff for a while. It's fucking annoying the shit out of me. It's in the set. It's something to do with the wiring. It's something somewhere because it's. Eh. Right, outro. Okay. Let's just 
try and play along with it. Yeah. 
that's how it went, right? I, did, God, I didn't. I thought this. I thought the pickup of this was fucked. Be a jack, but it's fine.
strings. This is how we go over it. All right, so that's right. as far as I know. Okay. Gotta do that on a new fucking line. I'm almost done. I wanna knock this off. I'm really I like doing this on the other occasion. I don't get like a, a kind of like oh I wanna play guitar loads kind of vibe very often but when I do I'm like no I need to play guitar as much as possible. And get as many blisters on my fingers as humanly possible. Because my fingers are. Oh, fuck. That's fine. Um. Stop! Thank you. That was a uh, RA in G minor. Um. Okay, in the same length. And being the same. That. Yeah. Right. Thank 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Eight. It becomes eight bars then. You got this is the first bar, and then you got seven more. Okay. One, two. Wait. One, two, three, four, nine. Seven. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It's become long. No. 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 Thank you. Uh. Ah. Oh, Fanny. Fanny ball. Okay. One, two, three, four. No, I haven't been doing it bar so fast. So this is already just kind of ruined the organization, really, already, but fuck it. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, that's gonna be unneat. Fuck it. I might go up and tidy this at some point, but now nah, it'll do. Um, now it's grand. So it's... So I can actually copy that from earlier. This bit and bit. Sixteen there. Same sort of melody again. Then it does something different at the end, which I don't know what it does, so let's listen. Dum Shouldn't go down, does it? Oh, you know what, actually? Wait. Last little bit. I may not agree with that. No, Don shush, is Kenny Omega. I can't. Uh. Where are you? 
open it up on YouTube because I can slow it down on YouTube. Bam, bam, and it's louder now. Oh god. Bam, 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 bam. Battle down, down. Okay, let's go to the end. Oh, that's so much worse. Hmm. Are a pain because they fade out. Ah, oh, how does the fuck? God, it's annoying the fuck out of me. Oh shit, thank you for the 420. Nice, Blazer. When we get the Cockcon Super Creek gig? Well, who else is in the Cockcon Super Creek group gig? Who else is the internet playing?
sorry if you sick of listening to this bit over and over again, but welcome. <laughs> That's it. Right. I know there's like seven people left here. 
It's the kind of that stream. Look, I don't. These aren't for. These are for me. Does that? Anyone who's been listening, does that? Right. <laughs> ah, I played it like I did the end just there because it's the same fucking leg. <laughs> Right, but I'm, I'm, I can't concentrate. Fuck it. Right. We're gonna have the so the outro. small edits to that before I actually publish it, but that's, that's, that's good. Save. Save past on here. For the time being, I might change the bits of it, but like that's nice. Good. Thank you, Matt. Good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. I did another tempo back in the speed dialing. Good. Look at that. Tabbing a thing. Wow. That's, 
That is a nice solo, and that's a nice song. Um, I highly recommend that album if you haven't listened to it before. Today, I mean, if you listen to that song, it's a fucking fantastic album. I've listened to that song so many fucking times, which is why I already knew most of the solo before I even started doing this. Um, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for coming. I know there's like fucking five of you here, but I appreciate that. I'm gonna put my actual headphones back on because I had, I had to have my wired ones in to do guitar stuff because I need that fucking instance thing. Um, I wish I'll do more guitar streams, but no one cares about them. But I like them. But no one cares about them. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go because my throat hurts and it's 1 a.m. Jesus Christ. Close enough, eh? Close enough. Thank you for coming. Have a good anything else. Any other thing. Do all the stuff. I don't know. Fuck it. Bang guitar. I mean, instruments are fun. Let us learn music. Learn an instrument. <laughs>